Hi, today I am going to share with you two quick fixes that you can use, as well as a way you can get additional support if you bump into any severe Mac-related issues. Your organization mentioned that the systems that you're utilizing sometimes cause trouble with screensavers as well as Excel. So let's run through them one at a time. Sometimes screensavers automatically activate while you're using the computer. And in order to disable this function, what you would have to do is you'd go to Apple Menu, System Preferences, and then that will allow you to click on Desktop and Preferences. And if you look down, you would see screensavers. Now once you click this, you will see this button. This is the problem. This is the function that allows the computer, allows user to move the mouse to a certain part of the screen, which would automatically put the computer into sleep mode. So once you click on this, you can click Disable in order to remove that issue entirely. Now the second issue that was mentioned is related to Excel. If your numbers automatically switch from one to another, uh, chances are that's related to the system thinking that uh, the numbers are representing dates. Now to remove that function, what you simply do is hit space before you type in the number. Now if you prefer, if you prefer, you can also just simply type in an apostrophe before you type in a number, and that will also prevent your numbers from switching. But if your problem only occurs if you're trying to type in a fi uh, fraction, then what you would do is you type in zero plus space, and then the fraction. These two parts should disappear once you type this in. Now, if you have any additional issues or if these solutions do not per turn out to be correct, what you can do is you can talk directly to Apple. Uh, they have two ways for you to solve these issues. One is you can contact, you can go to the webpage support.apple.com, which will provide you with a list of common er issues and common solutions that you can use to solve those problems. Or if you prefer to talk with a live representative, you can type in support.apple.com slash contact. And this will bring you to a page which will let you select what product you're using, in your case, a Mac, and what the problem is. Whether it's wireless connections or printer-related issues, it will give you the option of selecting that. And then they will notify you that a Apple representative will be contacting you within 10 minutes. You also have the option of emailing them through that, uh, but they are open to whichever method that you, suits you best. I hope this video has been informative for you, and if you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us. Have a wonderful day.